city of Ephesus, which was a major centre in antiquity. This is the church of Mary, the mother of Christ, where they decided she was not God herself, but she was just the mother of Christ in the flesh. important gymnasium in all of Ephesus. At this amphitheater there was a riot because Paul came and he lived in Ephesus and he brought the goodness of God into Ephesus and people were getting mad because a big business here was they would sell um, like handmade idols and handmade gods and tapestries and stuff so they got really upset because their business was going downhill when Paul said there is no other God but one and they had a big riot here in the amphitheater. Era un eh, sitio de competiciones de los gladiadores y aquí los romanes expresaron su poder y su influencia en el mundo antiguo. special snack cinnamon covered rice cake only in turkey snack time the largest and the most stunning section of the hillside residences this house belonged to the family of Flavius Aptus high priest of Dionysus and is of great significance as it is the only house in which the owner's name has been inscribed the same name can be seen in many inscriptions throughout Ephesus. Oh, <laughs> 
Look at the mosaic tile. This is next to the other view. Probably was a good time for this one. You're getting around. Right. <laughs> and um, this one is a tile. Whoa, that's beautiful. Look at the tiles. Maybe that's also one of these. This place is so cool. How much is an onion worth? It's got to be like two lemons and a donkey. Three asses. <laughs> <laughs> We've just found out very important news about the ancient world. <laughs> that they measured everything in a quantity. It's a little controversial. Ass. <laughs> She asked, she said, how do you measure a half-ass? And I was like, well, I want to know. I don't half-ass anything. Oh. <laughs> right. Well, you just half-ass that. You did half-ass You got a full ass. You need to do full. Uh, it's worth it. a full, full barley. <laughs> Lime plastering. It's coming back. All the natural building techniques that you see all around us are coming back. I will be a natural builder. This is what Owen's house is going to look like. They really need to work on their 3D renderings. These are quite bad. With eight weeks of architectural experience, I could do a better rendering than that. This is called the lion's room because there's a lion on the floor. Wait, maybe you can see it better on there. Burada asan var. Chokyo kinch. Chokunda. As well as depictions of Sappho renowned lyric poet of Lesbos, and Chilon, one of the seven sages of Greece. Although the owner and residents of this house have not been identified, it is clear from the subject matter of the frescoes that those that lived here were lovers of literature, philosophy, and the arts. This was a latrine furnished with benches on all three sides, so you and your friends could go together. Ephesus constructed both a spectacular temple in his honor with an immense seven meter statue on a grand base in the space leading to the entrance. Indeed.
vibes. <laughs>